And here to talk more about this, Morgan, the president of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitton. Tom, we thank you for making time for us today on America's Forum. Morgan and JD, good to be with you. Thank you. Hi, is, welcome to the program. Uh, Tom, if you would, could you give us more background on what happened here that has caused Judicial Watch to take this action? Well, you know, in the run-up to the 2010 elections, uh, you know, Democrats were trying to protect their majority, and they didn't want uh, incumbents uh, or uh, people that were perceived as incumbents to face challenges internally in primaries. It's kind of like the Tea Party challenges that are causing consternation for Republicans. So <laughs> what went on was Rahm Emanuel and Jim Messina is pretty clear, working with Bill Clinton at one point, offered jobs, it looks like, to at least two candidates who were considering primary challenges um, in Pennsylvania and Colorado. Uh, both were, you know, the, 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 job, the offer of federal jobs uh, were ignored by the candidates, but uh, there's no doubt they were made. And Rahm Emanuel and Mr. Messina, who was uh, then a deputy chief of staff, I think, at the White House, now he runs Organizing for America, the Obama front, uh, made these offers. They're illegal. You can't use your official business or make uh, uh, use your uh, public office uh, to benefit a political campaign like that by offering federal jobs. It's pretty obvious. And we had filed a complaint with the with the Office of Special Counsel, which is supposed to uh, investigate and hold accountable those who violate the Hatch Act, which is the federal law that prohibits the politicized use of office like this. And, uh, you know, years went by. They didn't do anything. We asked what went on. They said, oh, well, you know, those guys have left office, so we don't have any jurisdiction anymore, which is baloney. We know that's not the case. Uh, so they said, okay, A, it's baloney. You do have jurisdiction. B, they were in office for several months after we filed the complaint. What did you do in the meantime? and uh, stone silence from them. And that's why we've sued for documents. So, Tom, you, you mentioned that Jim Messina now running Organizing for America, obviously Rahm Emanuel, the mayor of Chicago, the subject of an ongoing series on CNN, a guy with a lot of ambitions. But what is at stake for these guys legally? What penalties could they face if uh, this moves on to some sort of judicial action? Well, I don't know if they will face any specific penalty, given the fact they're no longer in office. But certainly, we need to get the truth about what they did, and get a We need to ascertain as to whether they actually violated the Hatch Act. You know, the Hatch Act is a law that's often ignored here in Washington. In the sense, the President of the United States, when he was faced, uh, Kathleen, uh, Kathleen Sebelius, the uh, former director of HHS, violated the Hatch Act. She should have been fired under the law, but President Obama refused to do it. So the Hatch Act essentially can get you fired if you violate it. And since they're no longer in office, they can't get fired. But they ought to be subject to investigation so we know uh, if the law was violated just for accountability's sake. Okay, well, here's the ironic part. The Office of Special Counsel, which is the agency Judicial Watch has filed suit against, is the agency in charge of investigating charges of violations of the Freedom of Information Act. So is the Office of Special Counsel covering up the scandal? <laughs> That's right. We're suing the FOIA enforcer. And we're suing the enforcer of FOIA laws for violating the FOIA law. <laughs> That's it's unbelievable. Crazy. Typical Obama administration stonewalling. Tom Fitton, you recently also received a document detailing the disaster that was the rollout of Obamacare. Uh, can you give us an overview of what you've discovered? Uh, about the infamy of healthcare.gov and all the related activity uh, subject to the launch of what we now know as, as Obamacare. Well, when healthcare.gov opened in the beginning of October, everyone kind of knew it was a disaster, but the administration, uh, you know, a absolutely thumbing its nose at the American people, said, we're not going to tell you the specifics of what's going on, how many people are signing up, how many enrollees are taking are, are actually enrolling in Obamacare, and we knew the website was doing badly, but they didn't want to give any details, as if you know they didn't owe us those details, <laughs> even though they worked for us. So we sued in federal court to get some of those details, and they're even worse than what we suspected. We found on the first day there, according to their database, only one person enrolled in Obamacare, 
there's an email there now there's a dispute because there's an email saying two people enrolled in Obamacare so you pick your poison well, one now, or two. now th this is something either way Tom this is I just got to stop you right here and make sure I heard this right based on the documents you've gotten your hands on on the first day this was rolled out and, and around the country television stations like opening up their doors to try and get people signed up on the first day only one signed up that's what the database shows and that's what we had we had to sue to get that hmm. we had to sue to get that information wow well I, I can understand the embarrassment and i also this is what happens when you spend some time in politics when it comes to spin you said you're getting some dispute now that there may have been two that signed up. So, so well, I, what would the administration say? It was 100 well, percent better I, I than what's being that, claimed. I say that jokingly because the database shows one signed up, uh, but there's an email they also produced to us where they say we had two enrollees today. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> so it, it, they, they had it, double the uh, number based on that sad. email. Hey, Tom, I know you guys are working all the time. Um, you, you probably can't get into what's next because you really want to uh, wait when, when you have the information, but I guess we have to play the bigger than a bread box game. Where can we look for you next? What, what agency of government, anywhere we should be paying uh, special attention right now, Tom Fitton? The IRS is continuing to be on our radar. We're battling uh, State Department and Benghazi. Veterans Administration, we haven't ignored that nor forgotten about it, so you can expect some news there soon. Um, All right, Tom Fitton, as always, we appreciate your input. Thank you so much. We'll leave it there. Look forward to having you back here on America's Forum. So the actions taken by Judicial Watch, filing those Freedom of Information Act lawsuits to get to the bottom of it, are they effective in your mind? Will it make a difference with this administration? Why don't you tweet us your comments at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum.